Fluffy and Uranus have been trying to convert those piranha fish to a passive way of life for months. I hope it isn't working. That's not fair. Why do Fluffy and Uranus have a telephone and I don't? Maybe because we pay our bill when it's due and we don't prank call college cheerleaders at all hours of the night harassing them to see what they're wearing. I can't remember telephone numbers to save my life. Luckily, that's never been the case. I'll need this to have even the remotest chance at succeeding. Well, I've done my duty. There's nothing more for me to do here. Well, I've done my... Are you too microwave safe? Or will you plump when I cook you? We prefer not to find out, sir! So, so, so! Chop, blend, liquefy, puree. Sounds like my senior prom. Come here, you two. You'll look splendid blended. Can we talk you out of this, Mr. Duckman? That's one of those questions that people ask when they already know the answer. Uh, uh what's that called? Rhetorical, sir. Are you two still having trouble training your piranha? Maybe I can help you see eye to eye. Say, Fluffy and Uranus, look, it's your biggest fan. That's a good pun, Mr. Duckman. Very funny. Please don't hurt us, sir. You're stuffed animals, remember? This won't hurt. Well, in that case... That piece doesn't go there. So have you two turned against me like everyone else? Oh, no, Mr. Duckman. We would never desert you. It's not in our character description. That's right. We were phased off the show. Alicia Silverstone now plays the sexy and slightly daffy office receptionist. Alicia Silverstone, the receptionist in a detective agency? There's a clueless joke in there somewhere, but I'm too depressed to look for it. Why don't you lie down and rest, Mr. Duckman? We'll make you some nice daffodil tea. No. When I was up on that train trestle, seconds before the 508 Express plowed me over, I decided I was going to stand up and fight. 
to win back my family and career. And that's what I'm going to do. I need some fresh air. Air that isn't sugar frosted. I've got to figure out what to do. How about taking back control of your life and career, Duckman? Cornfed? Could it be? Come here! So I can kill you and use you for a kayak, you stinking rotten rat! Duckman, before you go into a blind berserker rage, get sweaty pink and stink up the room with the smell of wet feathers, let me remind you that I am disciplined in over 27 forms of martial arts and I know the exact pressure points to render you flaccid for life, and in spite of my diminutive stature, I can still punch harder than Mike Tyson on a first date. Think for a minute, Duckman. If I had really turned my back on you, would I be here? The only reason I'm still with the show and still at Paramount is because I smell a rat. And it wasn't the stroganoff from the commissary? I don't have any proof at the moment, but every fiber of my being screams that the new Duckman is a scumbag, and I eat a lot of fiber. Of course, that explains everything! This new Duckman is up to no good! That's why I was replaced on the show. No, the new duck man just filled the void you left behind. You were fired because you never came to rehearsals, you ostracized all the producers and directors by acting like a total prima donna, and you hit on everything on the Paramount lot in a skirt. By the way, Mel still wants you to call him. Right. Well, how are we going to stop him and whoever is in on this with him? We're going to need a, uh, what do you call it, four letters, starts with a P, rhymes with flan. I've already come up with a plan, Duckman. I've prepared a 3,600-page proposal, which I have on microfilm or compact disc that... <coughs> Corn fed! Maybe I should just explain it to you using simple sentences and lots of pretty pictures. Now you're talking, corny old boy! Lay it on me slick and simple! The first phase of my plan involves your sabotaging the new Duckman's public image. Once his popularity wanes, he may show his true colors. While I continue investigating on the Paramount lot, you need to go to the opening of the new Duckman's superstore. The new Duckman will be there in person, holding a press conference. Once you're finished, come see me at Paramount. How the hell am I supposed to sabotage him? Everybody loves the guy! You have to tarnish his public image. Find any dirt you can on him and publicize it. If you can't find any dirt, make some up. Something to stain his wholesome image in front of the press. Yeah, I can do that. I know all about how to look bad in front of the press. Go get him, partner. Nice neighborhood the Marshmallow Twins picked to live in. That might have bothered me once upon a time. I might have chased down that greasy-haired, pimple-nosed Game Boy playing punk and shown him an exciting new use for his turn signal. But not now. I'm on a mission. Why, it's the same shape as the glowing ship that used to hover outside my bedroom window and visit me as a child. Perhaps I can use this later in some unforeseen and heretofore unexpected way. Nah. The only thing I'd want to use on that gingerbread house is a blasting cap and 26 of dynamite. <laughs> Fluffy and Uranus, those two little festering fuzzballs. They used to work for me at my detective agency. Jamming them through the paper shredder, or into the fax machine. Uh, used to be the highlight of my day. Fluffy and Uranus. It's a garbage can lid. It's flat, round, and has a 40-inch diameter. Turn-ons include gentle sanitation engineers and green hefty bags. Turn-offs include maggots and garbage strikes. Fluffy and Uranus. You know, Fluffy and Uranus' house is a candy-coated ray of sunshine in an otherwise bleak and desperate world, where people will gun you down and rip your eyes out so they can sell the retinas at the eye bank. Superstore my great granny's hiney. Let's just see about this. I guess you can tell the size of a man's insecurities by the size of his superstore. Why didn't he just buy a Corvette like the rest of us?
Look at this place. An entire store devoted to selling junk with the new Duckman's ugly face plastered all over it. Why didn't I think of this when I was on top? If I'm going to publicly humiliate this joker, this cutout might come in handy. I'm ignoring you, Mr. Nobody. I'm here all alone. Oh, you'll be singing a different song when I'm back on top, you little toadstool. You can't treat me like this, you bristly balk. Yeah, right. You and Bunny Frank. It's a cutout of that louse, the new duck man. Use that with him? I wouldn't touch him with a ten-foot pole. Of course, if I had a ten-foot pole, I could be my own best friend, and I'd get invited to a lot of parties. Unbelievable! All this merchandising centered around one person? A person no one even heard of six weeks ago? This is insane! This place puts Twitty City to shame. Okie dokie, Mr. New Duckman, sir. I think we're ready to go. Uh, just speak into this microphone, but don't use your powerful super crime-fighting vocal powers. There are countless boys and girls waiting for the arrival of the new talking New Duckman super action figure. Now, let us record the words of wisdom that it will speak in my monumental yet calming voice. Fire away, sir. Remember, kids... It's not cool to burn down the school. Very motivating, sir. Let's try another one. Take two. Obey your parents, or I'll hunt you down and crush your windpipe. Ah, inspiring, sir. Take three. Remember, smoking cigarettes will kill you, and if they don't, I will. Frighteningly effective, sir. That's all I need. I can get the production line running now. Um, I'll be back in a jiffy. Have fleet feet, my good lad. The noble members of the press await the debut. In the meantime, you could entertain them with your phenomenal anatomy. A capital suggestion. I'll palpitate my pecs and agitate my abs for them. A couple of ace reporters. They're here frothing in the mouth, ready to pounce on a late-breaking story. I guess the bar's not open yet. What's the scoop, guys? You know, what's the skinny? Or the fatty? Or the... What the hell's going on here? In honor of the grand opening of this new Duckman superstore... That paragon of justice and defender of decency... The new Duckman is unveiling his new talking super action figure. Which, in addition to reciting a variety of motivational sayings... Can sharpen kitchen knives and scissors, tell the correct time in 18 different languages, and uh, helps eliminate foot fungus. I think not. Shoplifting is a crime in which everyone loses. And if you get arrested for it, you get tossed in a holding cell that smells like a bag lady's pantyhose. Then you have to beg your sister-in-law to bail you out. And she'll do it only after you let her toss out your treasured collection of Mammary Master Magazine. The likeness of that no-talent phony, the new duck man, on a plethora of plastic garbage. Garbage that should have my face all over it. The likeness of that no tell. The likeness of that. No, no, no. I need to sabotage him, not get flattened by him. It's either part of the security system, or it's a high-tech athlete's foot killer. I'm sure all this security is just to keep out the rabble. I used to be a celebrity, though. I used to be somebody. They have to let me in. Processing image. Working. Working. Access denied. Oh, great. 
First people, and now machines are ignoring me. What's next? Single cell organisms? Radio Shack salesmen? Girls who play Dungeons and Dragons? How low can I get? Access denied this, you how wannabe! Processing image. Working. Working. Access granted. Welcome, New Duck Man. You honor us with your presence. Wowzers! I'm a hungry boy! Mm, but the new Duckman is trusting me to get his new talking action figure done. And he did tell me to have fleet feet. But I'm really, really hungry. Except for that box of chocolate frosted dingle pops, I hardly had any breakfast. The new Duckman will be really mad if I don't get this done. But today in the cafeteria, they're having mystery meatloaf. If you guess the main ingredient, you get extra gravy. I'm not superhuman like him. I need nourishment to do my job. I'll just slip off for a quick snack. It looks like the finished dolls come out here. You know, this reminds me of that I Love Lucy episode where the girls are working on the candy assembly line, and then they get into a cat fight and wind up ripping each other's clothes off and pouring hot chocolate on each other's... Oh, wait. I'm confusing dreams and reality again, aren't I? Remember, kids, it's not cool to burn down the school. This is the tape recorder Chuck E. Cheese Pants was using out in the store to record the new Duckman's idiotic messages. I guess it just plugs right in. This is the tape recorder Chuck e Mr. Ton of Fun left this behind. I'm sure I can do some damage with it. It's the tape recorder from that factory making those new Duckman dolls. If I were the wagering type, which I am, I'd bet that this button starts up the assembly line. I wonder what's going on up there. I know it! This is one of those rooms they add just to thicken the plot. Well, you can count me out. 